Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Ultra Modded Survival. When I last saw you guys, I wasn't in too good of mood, if you couldn't tell. After my caving accidents, losing quite a bit of stuff, things at this base not going too well, I was in a bad mood. And so when I started playing today, I did more caving because I really want to show you guys what you can do with aluminum and why we need it. And so that set me up for a pretty bad morning. But once I got the cave all sorted out, I lit up everything basically. Things went a lot better. And well, they did. And then... A recording messed up so I'm gonna go over what happened so this is my loot minus a couple stuff it's missing the um, aluminum and I'll show you where that is now and some what's it called rotten flesh so I have ten here one here I ate quite a bit, the rest is over here, and so as I was caving, I died quite a few times because my hunger was basically zero for the most part, and so it was pretty bad. Like I was at half a heart basically the entire time. And I died quite a bit. Like, you can see my light of death is right here. Because I couldn't go to sleep. There was too many mobs around my house. And it was just awful. But, that's the past. Let me show you guys what I've done. So, in the smelter I put aluminum to make molten aluminum brass. I think I had six aluminum. So... I got quite a bit out of that. And copper, I got plenty of that, so I'm not even worrying. So what we can do with this is we can start using metal parts in Tinkers. So if we look at materials in you, we can see that a pickaxe, you can use these materials. Like the tools we made, we made them out of stone and flints because you didn't need a smeltery for those kinds of materials. But if we go further into materials, we can see iron. Um, where is it? Requires the smeltery. The other stuff doesn't say that because iron is a metal. Alumite, smeltery. Um, there, cobalt, ardite, all that stuff needs smeltery. So. What I went ahead and did is I made the parts that we needed to make a broadsword. It was a tie between longsword and broadsword, but broadsword, when you block, it cuts the damage in half. With longsword, it's purely attack, charged kind of stuff. But that requires sprinting. And I feel like It'd be much too annoying to figure to figure out how to use a longsword, especially in the beginning. I think a broadsword will help will help us out a lot more. So let's get going. So I made the tool rod, the guard, and where's sixty two blades? Yeah, I accidentally shift made sixty two blades, and they're gonna be useless. But Whatever. Live and learn. So we put this here. We have the drain on the casting table. And so when I pour the molten aluminum brass, it hardens and, hardens, and it makes us a sword blade cast. Material cost one. So let's also make one for the tool rod. And before I gotta have myself... Let me see if there's 
any other kind of material that we can make. Um, because I was thinking I just do, I just do iron, but there might be other stuff. So not silver, no. Let's just double check very quick. I wonder how bronze is. Bronze is better than, uh... Yes, yeah, steel is not going to be easy to come by, so not going to do steel. Let's look at bronze very quick. Um, so iron is 250, and okay. I wonder if 350 and attack is one. I think we're going to go with bronze, guys. Because it's not that hard to come by. And it's pretty OP. So. How do you make pig iron? Um. Anyway, I don't care. So, we're gonna make bronze. Bronze armor. And bronze tools. Just bronze everything. <laughs> okay. So. Let's double check on make bronze. Come on. Bronze. Um it doesn't say. Let's look it up. Molten bronze requires that's uh think so, four copper and one tin, it looks like, basically. Yeah. So, let's go with that. Let's get our tin, let's get our copper, and get this fired up. So, let's put in our tin. We had more. Yeah. Let's put all that tin in there. And we're going to make quite a bit of bronze so while that's going I want to show you guys the cave oh wait no 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 what I got from the cave so I got the aluminum which is the main thing I want to get but I got two pretty awesome stuff and it's these spawners well not okay ancient dried enchanted golden apple cow spawn egg if you find a longer title than that, let me know because that is long. So, these cows are the most OP livestock you can herd and breed and collect the resources because I'm going to save it. I'm going to show you guys when I can actually have a farm ready, why these are the best animals in the game. Hands down, nothing's better. And then we have villagers, three of them. So maybe in the future, I'll I might make an iron um what's it called an iron farm because iron golems. You guys probably own that. If you don't, it'll be in a future episode probably. So, and then we have. Nightmare, that won't be for a while, but yeah. So, we have our tin. Let's mix it and make some bronze. And bronze is at the bottom, right? Yeah, bronze is at the bottom. So, we can make our tool right now. So, we have that and that. So, put you. And then... We put you. And then put all together. So there. Dun, dun, no. And look at that. Broadsword, reinforced one, stonebound. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> 
prepare for fight. We are pretty awesome. I mean, look at that sword. Oh, wait. There we go. That's an awesome sword. I like that sword. This is going to be our trusty sword for quite a long time. Anyway. And I almost forgot. We need to make a... Let's see if we have ingots in. Yep. We need to make an ingot casting. Because... Put this on bottom. Ingot castings are basically the only way you can get ingots out of it. Like, if you have less than nine ingots worth of um, metal in there. Look at that. That's so awesome. But yeah, if you have less than nine, then it's worth it to make the cast so you can drain out single ingots rather than nine at a time. But... How much bronze do we have? We have 50. So we can take out 5 blocks. And then 5 ingots. Should work out pretty well. Because I don't think we're going to make more bronze tools for now. I think we're just going to make the armor. And that should be enough. Oh, no. No, why'd I do that? No. Oh well. That's going to be designated for bronze. Which we can actually make more of. So I don't know why I was worried. But. Copper. We have quite a bit of aluminum brass left. We'll use it eventually. I mean. Another awesome thing about the smeltery. Is you can have infinite fluid in there. Like it just keeps getting more and more and more. You'll see how it is when we start doing iron, but let's make our armor, and we should be good. Wait, the blocks. Wait. I have the blocks. What am I doing? So. That's interesting. If you do it with the casting, you get that kind of bronzing it, but if you do it from blocks, you get tinkers. It's interesting. Make you, 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 you. Let's get armored up. I'm so red. And let's get some daylight to properly see how we look. How decked out we are. Yeah. We look ready. We look so ready. Gonna pwn some mobs. Actually, I'm not sure if that's better than. What's it called? I'm not sure if iron's better than that. But iron is actually harder to come by than bronze, so. I think this is pretty good. And when it comes to tools, our tools are gonna be bronze for the most part from now on. That's a lot. Whew. But I'm going to deal with that off camera. Actually, I won't deal with that at all. I'm going to let it build up. And we'll see how that goes. Also, we're going to need more fuel. So let me get a bucket very fast. Because I have a lava source. Kind of. And let's see. We don't need all this. Drop off more stuff. We need torches. We need you. We need you. And I think it's full. Yeah. Eh. That's good enough. I think we're ready. So, I'm going to show you guys something pr that I know that I figured out a little too late. So you see this, well, this leads to a cave, and this cave, I have my torches, this cave 
is basically where I kept dying. Whoa. Whoa. Mobzilla spawn egg part. <gasps> Guys. If you don't know who Mobzilla is, you're going to be in for a treat. If you do, you know how awesome that find was. Well, awesome and bad. Depends what you think. Why is this so dark? Oh yeah, sorry about that. I forgot that when I reset, it gets moody instead of bright. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. But, so, this is where I kept dying because of skeletons and garbage. Like, it was just bad. But I just pwned him. He couldn't touch me. That's all. Aw. Forgot food. Anyway, I'll make this quick. So, I kept dying in this area after I torched everything up because this area just things like to spawn in it. It's a pretty big area. Kind of. It looked like it. Anyway, so, the main thing I want to show you guys is I found a spawner. And not any regular spawner, a zombie spawner. And zombies were poning me pretty bad. But, I because I kept hearing zombies, it was terrifying on my descent, but cave spider, why would I... Anyway, so I think you guys can hear them. They, they, they killed me at least five times, I'd say, because I didn't know it was a spawner. And when I figured it out, I was pretty angry. But here's the lava, so I'm going to get that very quick. Thank you. Is that ostrich? Don't need an ostrich. Anyway. So yeah, this, these caves are complicated, like, I got lost so bad. It was terrible. But all that's over. Yeah, you can hear them. They're pretty bad. Here we go. I swear, these caves are the most confusing caves I've ever seen. So here we have our zombie spawner with a treasure chest. I call it a treasure chest because, well, you guys see it. It's not just me. You guys see it. A portal gun. Do you know how expensive portal guns are? Just so you guys have an idea. Portal gun. Okay. We need iron ingots, obsidian, a diamond, and a miniature black hole, which consists of ender pearl dust, ender pearl dust, which comes from an ender pearl, which means we would have to beat an enderman, obviously, and another star. All that stuff bypassed because we have a portal gun. Booyah. Let's take care of these guys. Actually, I think we're decked out enough to take over the spawner. Uh, come on. Okay, I think we're good. Oh god, no. What? Where'd you come from? No, that's bad. No, shut up. Shut up. No, I have no hunger. Oh shoot, I need to close this off. Okay, portaling this. So, quick access. And we'll be right back. Oh god. Yeah, so, you see this hunger garbage? I had to deal with that. It was the worst. Like, honestly, the worst. I was just here. What? 
Yeah, these caves are the worst. They're just way too confusing. But let's just go back home. I'm tired of this. Oh. <sighs> Come on, no mobs. I don't want to fight right now. I just want to go home. I want to sleep. I want to eat. And I want to play with this portal gun, of course. Because when you have a portal gun, it's the second best thing to flying. And since I don't really have the obsidian to get into the nether so I can fly, we're going to just portal around places for now. So, let's see. We're going to use this here. And we're good. We are good. Let's take you. Eat up. And... Yeah. I think we need to eat a bit more. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. I can't believe this is my only food source right now. But... What can you do? So, we need to heal up before we start heading in there. Because there's no way we can take care- Oh, Yes! Come on, come on, just- Go away. Go away. There we go. And let's take this out. And it is officially taken over. Awesome. So let's see what else we have. We have a steadfast drone. I'll leave that in there for now. I know where it is. Cinemix. No, shut up. Shut up! I don't know where they're coming from. Oh god. Stop it. Where? Seriously. It's not even dark, is it? Where are you guys coming from? Seriously. I don't know where they're coming from. Anyway. No. And then we have tin. Might as well. I wonder what that is. Can right click it, so we'll look at it later. Gunpowder, nah. And stencil, no. Nah. So, I would consider that excess. We have our bronze armor, bronze broadsword, which we can repair with cobble. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, I think that's good enough for an episode pretty proud of what we did in this episode so leave a comment down below let me know what you think also tell me what you think of the the intro that's what i've been working on the past few days so let me know in the comments leave any suggestions and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one